started using technology in our program a few years back simply because I'm a big believer in seeking the truth over tradition. I wanted to find a way to really show the player that there's truth behind some of the metrics within the Diamond Kinetics bat sensor that are going to help you develop as a player and also have more success. We keep it really simple. We simply send out a message to the players that today we're going to run the sensors. It's really easy to use, it's durable, uh, and we apply it on a regular basis in the practice environment. We use the bat sensors, you know, typically two to three times a week. If I can hit a line drive right back over the top of the L screen, that swing is just over 10 degrees. That ball is going to get to the outfield. That's going to be a hit. I know that my bat is staying in the strike zone for a long period of time to create that swing. I know that my attack angle is slightly up to create that swing. I can see that with the diamond kinetic sensor. I like to use the bat sensor in the game environment because I want the player to be able to see what his pre-contact data looks like when he is facing a live pitcher. So you're just really just painting a picture for the player of what they're doing. In my mind, the most important diamond kinetics metric that we really value are attack angle, max acceleration, impact momentum, and distance in the zone. And we love the fingerprint for bat path. This year, the first time, we sent every guy on our pitching staff home for winter break with one of the Diamond Kinetic Baseballs. And what we found that worked really good for us during that time was our pitch development and kind of our lead up to get to 100% throwing capability. Uh, we could use the metrics to talk about our effort level um, and we used a lot of the different metrics uh, really at the end of our throwing sequences to help with our pitch developments. We feel like we've done a great job, and I give Monty a lot of credit for this because he makes us keep up with what's going on in the, the age of baseball. And I do think that we've done a great job at Clemson of kind of you know, making ourselves aware of how to use technology in our program. If we have diamond kinetic balls for every guy on our team, but it really only helps one guy, it's totally worth it. If I hit a ball 100 miles an hour, at a 15 degree launch angle, I just hammered that baseball. What is my pre-contact data telling me? Is it telling me that my impact momentum numbers are high, my max acceleration numbers are high, my distance in the zone is this, my attack angle is this so that I can match the plane of the incoming pitch? Am I winning the front of the plate? You know, sometimes we're critical of things we don't understand. Well, take technology and make it simple for you.